hi guys you are welcome to my channel today we'll be looking at how we can trade gold uh gmp usd euro usd and usd jpy on the smaller time frames but before we go to the smaller time frames uh we'll take a little look at what has happened on the higher time frame all right i'll be starting with gold uh on the weekly time frame and on the weekly time frame i have uh gold price of gold uh forming a triple top okay this is the first top uh this is the second top and this is the third top um for now uh we have the uh likely uh demand area to be around this this particular point this particular point as i about the likely demand area on the weekly time frame if price is ever gonna drop if price is gonna drop price might likely drop to this point and uh price might find some level of demand around there okay but if price is gonna rise from where it is right now okay uh price uh might likely get to uh this supply area this supply area on the weekly time frame uh, we have a supply area around here on the weekly time frame uh price might likely you know shoot to that point for us to have like a double top uh for price to okay uh possibly drop should in case we have a double top all right so those are the possibilities on the weekly time frame let's uh, take a look at what we have on uh, the daily time frame. the daily time frame shows that price is dropping all right and price is already almost at this particular order block on the daily time frame uh, we might see some level of uh, retracement of price around here I see some level of retracement of price around here up to uh uh where we have this particular uh descending trend line this descending trend line okay we might see some level of retracement to the descending trend line for price to continue its uh downward movement okay for price to continue its downward movement now a break of this particular supply area talking about this uh, uh supply area on the chart this particular area uh, this demand area i beg your pardon a break below this particular demand area you might see price uh going down to uh this particular level where we have another uh demand area where buyers are lined up all right uh, buyers lined up around here on the daily chart uh, so uh, these, these are the likely uh, scenarios uh, that we might have but if price is able to what if price is able to break uh, above this uh, ascending uh, descending trend line if price is able to break above this descending trend line okay uh, we have this area as uh, the supply area we have that supply area around there uh price might likely drop around that point uh for price might likely drop around that supply area if price is able to rise up to that level price is able to rise up to that level we might see it drop talking about this particular level if price is able to rise to this level we might see a drop of price so that's that for the daily time frame on the uh four hour time frame uh we can see price ranging downwards okay and at this point we had like a free fall of price with uh just uh some little resistance resistance from the buyers because the sellers taking charge around here so but around this point we might be seeing some level of demand when it's right price rising a bit 
uh, we have this particular uh, descending trend line around here okay so we might see price you know rising up to test this descending trend line for price to drop further that's that for the four hour time frame on the one hour time frame we can see that um, a trend is uh, bearish but we are we are beginning to see like a bottom around here look at this freezer bottom on the one hour time frame that is tweezer bottom and then you can see a break above uh, this liquidity zone this zone the liquidity zone you can see price breaking above it um price might likely uh, test the 1920 level and then we have this supply area around here this supply area price might get to this supply area if uh the if in case there's a um, um um uh short recovery uh where the sellers book profit uh the buyers step in to push price back a bit before price continues to go down in case that is in progress my see price getting to the likely getting to the 193 uh zero level okay where, where we have the uh, supply order block okay so that's that for the one hour time frame on the 30 minutes time frame we can see that the buyers are coming gradually into the market the buyers are coming gradually into the market uh looking at the left side of the chart on the 30 minutes time frame uh this is about the uh uh best pullback on the left side so this showing that we are seeing like a change of character see like a change of character break of structure to the top side gradually uh look at these three white soldiers on the 30 minute time frame Followed by a long candle, so that shows that um, we might be see, seeing some level of buying uh, in the next uh, couple of hours or for some time. On the 15 minutes time frame, you can see buyers coming in gradually, buyers stepping in gradually. So you might want to look for buying opportunities. On the five minutes time frame, we can see uh, this inverted head and shoulder pattern. Okay, there's the left shoulder. All right, uh, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. Okay, showing that the bias stepped in. And for now, it's advisable you look for buying opportunities. This is the neckline, and price is going up. So more like the development of a minor. It might it might be a minor trend. It might turn out to be a major trend reversal. It might be a minor trend reversal where buyers push price to some level before price drops. Now that's that. It's currently buying. Uh, if we are going to take a look at a Fibonacci retracement from this particular level up to where we around where we are, a price might retrace up to uh, the 26 uh, around here 23.6 level, which is 1923 level. Price might also push up to uh, the thirty-eight point two percent Fibonacci level, which is around the one nine three two level, and price might get as high as the fifty percent Fibonacci level, which is the one nine three eight level. But for now, I advise you for buying opportunities. Okay, that's that for for gold let's take a look at um 
uh, GBP USD on the weekly time frame. We can see price retracing. And the way it is, price is likely going to retrace to uh, test the initial resistance level. Initial resistance level that the 1.26810 level. And I think price has got into that level for the week. Okay, so we might end up seeing a shadow being formed as price goes back up. If that happens, uh, we'll, uh, the uh, bullish trend might likely continue. To continue on the daily time frame. Uh, we can see this pin bar. All right, bearish pin bar showing the price uh, is likely to continue to retrace but let's take a look at the fibonacci retracement uh, perspective okay uh, for the fibonacci retracement perspective price has broken the 23.6 uh, percent fibonacci level uh the 38 point uh 38.2 percent fibonacci level is at 1.26400 level so price, we might see price testing that level. If price tests this particular level, and price starts to go up, it shows that the trend is still strong, and you might likely enter your buy position there. On the four-hour time frame, uh, we can see this pin bar. Okay, it's a pin bar. At the same time, it's uh, engulfing. And golfing is bullish candlestick, and we can see what's happening. Price is dropping, dropping. Okay, price is dropping. Um, you might see price retracing a bit from here, in as much as we have this uh, support level around here. Price might retrace a bit, and we might see the next drop to break price down to this level talking about this particular uh demand area price might drop to that demand to this particular demand area on the chart okay it's a possibility uh that might happen but more like the bears are gradually coming into the market bears are gradually coming into the market uh, on the four hour time frame, you can see that um, we have this left shoulder, the head, right shoulder, and price is forming head and shoulder pattern. And uh, uh, this is the neckline being broken. Uh, the neckline is being currently being broken for the head and shoulder pattern for GBP USD on the one hour time frame that's the left shoulder and this is the head and this is the right shoulder okay and price is gradually dropping okay so that's that for gp usd on the uh one hour time frame but if price is to rise from this point we have a supply zone around here. This point, we have a supply zone. More like sellers might be lined up around here. If price gets to that level, we might see price dropping for that from that particular level. If uh, the buyers are able to push price back to the, the supply zone where we have this other block, uh, we might see price dropping from there okay uh on the 30 minutes time frame what do we have uh the trend is bearish for now and what we are looking at right now on the 30 minutes time frame is a uh, retracement of price price is retracing we have this um low high lower low lower high now we are what we are looking at is a lower low. We might see a lower high, then price might drop to form another lower low. That's for the 30 minutes time frame. 
so you might look for selling opportunities on 30 minutes time frame on the 15 minutes time frame still selling it's bearish on the five minutes time frame for uh gdp usd you can see that price is trying to uh look at on the five minutes time frame price trying to recover look at this uh pin bar the pin bar at the same time bullish engulfing candle on the five minutes time frame the five minutes time frame is a small uh time frame so we might see some level of pullback for price to pull back to this particular uh level first before the price starts to go the price by pull back to the 1.2716 level for price to continue to go down that level is in confluence with this descending trend line the overall direction is bearish for gbp usd okay on the one what do we have on the one minute time frame although the one minute time frame is a small time frame uh that we might not really count on because of the noise but the one minute time frame shows that uh, we have like inverted head and show that 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 means uh, uh a clean break and close above this level uh price might start to go up okay but the overall direction for now is uh bearish for gbp usd let's take a look at um, uh euro usd euro usd on the weekly time frame shows that um, price is currently ranging for this particular week uh, we have the longer shadow or the longer week at the top until the week closes um, we might not be able to uh, ascertain if we, we close it as a doji uh, that means indecision on the part of the buyers and the sellers and we might want to wait for a break and close ab above or below the high and the low of the doji for us to take a decision that's that for weekly time frame on the daily time frame you can see price trying to uh, retrace retrace this um, trend this particular leg price is already getting to the 23.6 uh fibonacci level price gets to the dropping retracing to 23.6 fibonacci level if price is able to um break below this level which is 1.09204 uh the next level will be the 38 point uh two percent Fibonacci level, which is at the 1.08671 level, and if price is able to get to these levels and rise, if price is able to drop to these levels and rise, that implies that this trend is still strong, and we see the buyers stepping in and pushing the price higher. But the overall trend for now is bullish. On the daily time frame, you can see that the sellers, or the on the four-hour time frame, you can see that the sellers or the bears are in the market. Bears are in the market. Uh, we have the other block, the, the demand area to be around this particular level. Uh, this particular level is the demand area. You can see price dropping into that area. For price to find some level of demand and for price to move up okay now if price moves up on the far time frame we might be seeing something like um head and shoulder for price to drop this time around to this demand uh zone to this particular demand zone price for price to drop to that zone price drop it to that level okay so um on the one hour time frame what do we have on the one hour time frame one hour time frame shows that um the bears are active and price is dropping 
the 30 minutes time frame same uh same view just like what we have for gbp usd price is uh bearish uh, the trend is bearish so you might want to look for selling opportunities for euro usd on the five minutes time frame still bearish uh, let's take a look at uh, USD JPY, USD JPY for now. On the weekly time frame, shows that um, price is trending up, and the likely target is one for eight point five uh, level. But that might take weeks, might take months uh, for that to be achieved. But uh, looking at this double bottom, is the first bottom, is the second bottom. And we have a break of the neckline and price is going up if you are a long time trader you might want to enter a buy bullish position and then buy the jpy but that will not come this will not be achieved in a day it might take weeks it might take months on the daily time frame uh, today's candle shows a doji Okay, uh, but the day is still fresh, and we have this break of structure around here as price continues to trend up and break structure to the top side. We might look for buying opportunities. Uh, for our time frame shows that uh, continue to have a low high, low higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low, high, which is typical of a bullish trend. So you might want to look for an appropriate level where you place your buy position uh, to buy USD JPY. For now, you might have pullback, but the overall trend is bullish. You might have some level of pullback, but the overall trend is bullish for uh, USD JPY. So they might come. Uh, a time where uh, price will go up and then pull back for price to gather more uh, buyers and start to go for USD JPY. Uh, but for now, the trend is bullish, and if the trend is bullish, uh, USD JPY is negative. is a negative correlation to uh, gold, XA USD. So if you are buying USD JPY, look for selling opportunities for XA USD, and if you are selling fca usd uh look for buying opportunities on usd jpy that's that for today's video if you are yet to subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for go ahead and click the subscribe button uh if you like the video click the like button drop a comment below the video ask questions which are as much as possible to respond to your question don't forget to share the video all right uh you can click the bell button below the video for notification you can also visit our website www.bnfxtrader.com to learn more on how to trade. Uh, you can also visit another website over as fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade. Till I come your way tomorrow, uh, it's bye for now.